Hi everyone, I'm Katerina Christakos, and I am the author of several books on Amazon, some under my name, some under ghost names. Um, and this video is going to talk about one of the tools I use to research my niche before I go into it. Because most people do this the wrong way. They write the book, they post it on Kindle, on Amazon, and they wait and they get no sales whatsoever. And that's because they're going into the wrong niche or they're not um, structuring their listings properly. So this is a tool that I use um, and it helps you find high traffic keywords with low competition. Uh, and it'll tell you right away if it's a good niche or a bad niche to go into. So I'm going to jump in and show you how this works. And um, what you do basically is you'd write the niche, let's say chicken recipes, chicken cookbook. And you hit the search button and you wait a second and it's going to populate it here. And then I've already done these two here and I'm going to, um, this is for related ditches by the way. So you put in the keyword uh, chicken recipes and it comes up with things that are related to that. So then you hit, click um, send to analyze, send to analyze, analyze the keywords, it gives you the list. And one thing you want to do is sometimes they list the same keyword twice. So you're going to delete duplicates and then you're going to click start analyze. And it's going to give you the number, number of global monthly searches, uh, the number of results in Kindle. It's going to tell you the best ranked one, the lowest ranked one, the average rank, the number of reviews that it has, um, the average price, and then once it's done, the conclusion will actually say good, bad, or difficult. Okay, So just from that, you'll be able to tell whether it might be a good niche to go into. And if you are here and you want to see the entire thing, you could just do this here. So I started getting some results. Chicken Recipes has 1,436 results in Kindle right now. It's saying it's difficult to get into that. Free cookbooks would be very difficult. Um, I know this isn't this video isn't about it, but why would you want to do a free cookbook um, or a free book of any kind? Um, you use that to get leads uh, back to your site, so you can get them into your mailing list and actually upsell them to products that are related to your book. So it's still going here. Right now, it's not looking like a great niche to get into. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of competition, but we'll see. I'm curious to see what it comes up with for farm. 8,983 results. So far, it's not looking like a niche I'd go into. But you see how easy this is. You just do this and it gives you the information. You don't have to guess about, should I go into this niche? Should I not go into this niche? Um, it just makes your life a lot easier as an author and publisher. Chicken cookbook free says is excellent. There's only 73 people competing with you for that. So what could you do with that? You can create a free chicken cookbook, obviously, and then you direct them back to your site where they can get a free newsletter. And in that newsletter, maybe you can sell the kitchen utensil utensils that you'd use when cooking chicken, you know, the crock pot or a frying pan or something. There's a lot of different options, but that, if I was looking to get into that niche, I'd think about it. This one, excellent. Chicken recipes, easy chicken recipes. So that, that would be something I would consider. See how easy that was? If you're interested in getting this piece of, of software, I mean, it's invaluable. Um, click on the link below this video and just go ahead and get it. It's going to make your life so much easier. It's going to take all that research out of your hands and you'll be able to know for sure if it's a good niche or a bad niche to get into. All right, that's it for now. This is Katerina Christakos, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Go ahead and get the, the software now and get started writing your book.